We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Today, Roy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white line. Yes, we were following the rules. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Here's Love looking to pass on the first play. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A good position to be in here, second and in inches. First carry now for A.J. Dillon. And Dillon going to pick up a Packers first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. Second and in inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. The love throw brought in by Watson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. And now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Third and four. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Now a first down carry by Jones. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Second down, love. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four four, but might need to be 5-5 five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because 4-4 four four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. 
Only a pickup of two, but that's all they needed for the first. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Malik Jefferson in there on the stop. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Now a second down throw for Love here. This complete to the tight end, Tucker Kraft. So the completion good for six yards. And now we've got a third down and three. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. That's complete to Dobbs. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. What we hear so often, how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go and make the tackle right away. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down. They go for it on fourth and two, and it's a gain of six. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Love. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Jets are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Tucker Kraft, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Packers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you somewhere along the way, the head coach said, let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays, all told. And the result, a Green Bay score. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Yeah. 
On first and ten, Prescott. Able to hit his target land. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Okay, second and one, you get nothing. What now on third and one? Sorry about that. I was so excited I jumped in on you. This is almost like practice to me. Line it up and do it again. You didn't get it right the first time. Just get right back on the ball and go. It doesn't matter that they know you're coming. You ought to be able to pick up this short yardage. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this, and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On second down, it's Pollard. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Going to run again here with Pollard. Even with that broken tackle, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Darnell Savage there to make the tackle. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They'll try to throw now. Prescott, left side the lane. And the Cowboys are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Pollard is going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Pollard again. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Boy, two long, sustained drives by each team to start things out. It's kind of similar to how the pitch clock has shortened baseball games. That means we'll be out of here quickly if we get a few more drives like that. 
We're in the second quarter now, and we've only had one drive apiece, each of which have ended with touchdowns. Aubrey good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, but led to a really nice game. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Love now on second down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Wheeling to punt. Kevontae Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. You see the numbers, all those carries. If you get that many carries in the drive, you better finish it with a touchdown, and, and he did. Yeah, and, and deservedly so, right? Because we've seen times like the Carolina Panthers, sometimes Jonathan Stewart to carry the ball the way down, and then Cam, he's such a great goal line runner, he'll carry it in. But in this case, though, that didn't happen. The fellow lugging the load, he's the one who got to reap the reward. Yeah, there was no touchdown vulture here. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Prescott now from the 50. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? A second down throw for Prescott. Going right back to Ferguson. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. 
If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Pollard will take it up the gun. 55 yards rushing for him now to this point. I bet we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. From the 33, here's second and four. Prescott from the gun. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him the first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Prescott on first down. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. As the field starts to get condensed, the defense likes that a lot because now you don't have as much space to cover, but a well-run corner route there. Now Prescott. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. To throw is Prescott. Jake Ferguson, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Aubrey now for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive goes eight plays. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Packers offense set to go. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Love and the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing. Love. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. On the counter, here's Jones. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Love looking to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. Fair 
to say it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fielded at about the 28. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. First down, Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. Throwing. Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Prescott looks to throw on first. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. When I played in the yard as a kid, I used to imitate the spectacular catches that I would see on TV. I don't think I ever imitated one quite that well. <laughs> Come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And again, it's Prescott. Slant pass, Pollard brings it in. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So the penalty declined, and they will keep the yardage on the completion. And you can almost see him compartmentalize there throughout the route. Fought hard at the line of scrimmage, a lot of hand checking throughout the route. Great job staying focused on the football and pulling it in through the contact. A first down throw for Prescott. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. From the five, second and four. Prescott. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Prescott to throw it. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead here just before halftime. And this drive, Charles, very well-timed as they score with very little time remaining in this first half. And I'm reminded that they get the second-half kickoff as well, so they can break this one wide open before the other guys have a chance to possess the football. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. 
and not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Aubrey now for the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to seven. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this taken in at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. NFL quarterbacks work so hard on their mechanics, and they do so much repetition in practice, offseason, the whole deal. They expect it to be autopilot once the games start. That way it eliminates any type of pressure of the game, pressure of people in your face, all of that. That didn't shine through on that throw, though, did it? No. A little bit of a dangerous pass and off target, too. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Final play of the half, Love. Now this aired out deep for Reed. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two touchdown game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. It was a veteran quarterback, Dak Prescott, who had it working in the first half. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. And they've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Prescott's throw there, caught by Gallup. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Thank you. 
Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Over the middle complete. That's Ferguson. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A good pick up there, 22. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll throw again. Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. So the completion good for seven there, and that's going to bring up second down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions, and just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now because all they've done is throw the football? If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Second down, Prescott. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Got a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Here's Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. This carry brought to an end at the eighth. Good stick skills, but not much room to operate. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now Prescott. Pollard here once again. Back-to-back -back catches. Touchdown! Tony Pollard, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two.
Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside, probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. On third down, Love. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I think we've seen this before. If someone's down three scores, that situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. 31 yards on the punt there. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive. They have picked up right where they left off in half number one, just looking really dominant, extending this lead. And it's fun to see when teams actually do that because so many times you go into the half after playing well, and you kind of relax a little bit. Uh, we've got this. We can kind of punch the button whenever we get good and ready. But for a team to keep the intensity and keep the execution up and come back after the half and play so well, that's actually really, really nice to see. And a pedal to the metal. That's what we're seeing right now. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. A second down throw for Prescott. He finds his man, Pollard. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. On play action, Prescott. This is caught, it's close. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Tony Pollard, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys had six to their lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Aubrey now for the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. And now the Packers get set to go. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, 
this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11 to throw now. Here's Love. He'll complete this one to Watson. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. to pass. Here's Jordan Love. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Jordan Love ready on first down here. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. They're down here in the third quarter trying to get something going. Going to the outside there didn't work out, though. Yeah, and from the cheap seats and from where you and I are sitting, <laughs> we, did, we did pay a pretty good price to get in here, right? You often wonder to yourself, why do you make that type of a call? That one went for no gain. But I think this offense thinks to itself, if we keep running these plays, eventually something may pop. It just didn't on that one. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. Back now in Arlington. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. First down, going to the air with Love. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Second and ten. They go back to the ground with Jones. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, They've got to pay it off with some points. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football, averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach, when I click off this film, I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball carrier. They'll go with Jones. Oh, good move. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. 
Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancer for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Love now. Throw left side complete. That's Reed. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And they'll get this down to the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first and 10, Love. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. Love, they go play action now. That's to the pylon and incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. Love, this is third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it even though this one feels like a lost cause. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And this Cowboy defense comes up with a goal line stand. So a third straight pass attempt after they ran it on first down. Third straight incompletion. Now they're forced to give the ball up. They must have felt like they just couldn't get it done on the ground. You know, something in what they saw in the defense or how they felt about their offensive line, it just told them, throw the football and end up with three straight incompletions, turn the ball over on downs, Give a big, big check mark to the defense on that one. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. They go back to Pollard on second down. Two yards the loss there, now third and 14. Running the ball can be a struggle in this part of the field. In fact, it's a perfect spot for defenders to pin their ears back and try and work up field, and they capture him for a loss. The Cowboys on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 14. Here's Pollard again. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Three yards won't be enough here, as that'll bring up fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation. So they're Take that. Let's go, Let's baby.
Here's Brian Anger now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. And this is a pretty good kick. Oh, the return is Reed. We'll call that a 49-yard punt, but a net of just 39 following the 10-yard return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. On the delay, Jones. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Let's rely more on the passing attack. I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try and find some targets in the open field downfield. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Love from the gun on third down. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got this down to the 35. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Now a second down throw for Love here. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was cut. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. Carlson on for the extra point. It's good, and it's now 35-14. So that drives seven plays in length, and it ends with a Packers touchdown.
So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. A give to Pollard, running left. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Rashawn Gary that time through the line and getting the tackle for loss. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On third down, it's Pollard. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.